All right, so I decided we're going to... Uh, I got rid of this dungeon screen, this sort of second screen that I made here. Um, I'm going to make another forest screen, and I want to show you a warp tile type, which is also included um, in, in, the, in, the, in the tile types of the beta. Um, <clears throat> and we're going to have it... <clears throat> excuse me. We're gonna have it warp to another screen, and that's gonna be my dungeon screen. So it's gonna be look, it's gonna look like a hole in the ground or whatever. Um, so first, let's uh, let's make a new asset here. Um, so I'm gonna make let's let's go to my pixel editor. Let's open up um, that tile set real quick. Uh, oops, game engine graphic assets, and I'm gonna open this up. In fact, I'm gonna open this guy my dungeon and I'm going to copy my bricks here because now I'm saying you know what I want bricks on both so I'm actually going to copy it and I could put it in the screen specific and then I'd free up the room here but uh, for now I'll just open up and I'll paste it right in to this tile set right there okay so now I've got bricks in here too I'm going to save that and yep, I want to reload it and I'm going to go to my graphics banks. So we're doing stuff that we've already learned how to do, which is nice. Um, I'm going to grab the bricks. And stone looks pretty good for these. And I'm going to make them solid. And I'm gonna, But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make also... I'll call this brick wall. But what I can also do <clears throat> is I can make, say, a 3x3 three three area. And I'm going to fill these all with bricks. I'm going to make them all solid. 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 We got a brick here. Make it solid. Another brick here. Make it solid. And then make a brick here and here. Make these both solid. And with this, I'm just going to use an empty tile. And I'm going to make that empty tile a warp to screen tile. And I'm going to call this, I don't know, uh, entrance or something like that. All right. And I'm going to save this as an asset. So now if I look, I've got a brick wall I can use and an entrance. And I can go back to my overworld and go to this new screen that I created and stick this entrance to what looks like a nefarious dungeon, all right? And I'll, I'll throw a couple of trees in here to match the collision. Don't forget, I, <clears throat> I can hit control to get up to move my, uh, my origin there. <clears throat> I want to make sure that I've got dirt path selected on my paths, and I'll make the pass hit escape to get rid of the ghosted image if you don't want to see it. I'm going to make my path go sort of right up right into this hole and maybe I'll put a couple of spikes in here and I'll put a couple of mushrooms around the room whatever I could make this a lot prettier the thing I wanted to show you was this warp to screen uh, tile type um, right now I, I don't believe I've, I've got the second map uh, uh, keyed in I don't think I have it wired up um, so we're just gonna warp to a uh, another screen on this map it's it's one bit that I just have to add, uh, and I just don't know if I did it when I reduxed it for the beta here. But that's okay. I'm going to make a screen just I don't know somewhere. Let's let's put it right here, um, and I'm going to use tile set one, and I've got my tile screen, and I'm going to use my dungeon palettes, and there we go. And now this is going to be, you know, the layer of the bad guy here, and I'm gonna. Oops, five. I'm going to do this and sort of make an arena. And, you know, obvi obviously later on you'd have your weapons and you'd have to attack this boss. We don't have anything like that in this, this first uh, little tutorial video. So I'm just going to make it so you have to get past him this way. Um, put some lines, some, oops, lines, some spikes here. So you have to be very careful. I won't be that sadistic, not for, not for a demo. Um, and I want him to appear. I want your character to appear here. Now this way, he's not going to. Um, your character is not going to be able to go back out of this dungeon. Um, I, I could, I could easily make that happen, uh, but right now I just want him to enter into this dungeon. Um, you know what? Let's 
uh, never mind. I'll, I'll, I'll make it so that he can also exit the dungeon. So I'm going to go to my second tile set. And I'm going to pick one of these blank tiles here. And I'm going to make sure it's in dungeon palettes. Dungeon palettes. And I'm going to have it be warp to screen. And I'll have this one be warp back. And I'll save that. There we go. And so in my overworld... I can put a warp back right there. So now if I touch that, I'll go back to the original screen. <clears throat> okay, so how this is going to work is I'm going to go to this first screen here. And I need to tell it which screen that this is going to warp to. And if I count, it's it's this is 0, so it's zero, one, 0, 1 in the x direction and 0, 1 in the y direction. So it's 1, 1 is where that screen is. I, I chose that one because it would be easy to remember where it is. Um, but you can literally count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over and 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 down. So um, 5, 4 would be where it's going to return to. Did I count that right? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 4 is where I'm going to return to. I'm going to go to 1, 1, return to 5, 4. I go to the screen that's got the warp in it. And I go to screen info. It says, where do I want, what screen do I want to go to? I'm going to warp out to what screen? I'm going to warp out to 1, 1. Hit OK. Now, where do I want to warp back in if I'm coming into the screen? I want to warp right here, not on the thing, because then I'm going to get stuck in a perpetual loop. I want to uh, exit right here. And I can look right here to see what those numbers are, and it's 7, 7. So if I warp back in... I want to appear at position 7, 7. Okay, and I'll go to that other screen. I want to warp in at 8, 11. 8, 11. So I'm going to warp in at 8, 11. And what screen am I going back to? Um, look at my world. What was it? 5, 4, right? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Right, so that's 5, 4. Um, so my warp out to screen is 5, 4. Okay. So now that should take me back and forth between those two screens. Um, I can put my mouse over it and see that it's a warp to screen tile type. Uh, let's test that real quick. <clears throat> so first I got to get past my uh, terrifying monsters over here. And I warp to the screen. And there I am. And now I'm in the screen. And if I go back into that door. Oops. So what's happening is I'm holding up to get there, and I'm still pressing up when I get up there. So I would probably um, want to make it so that I uh, the door is actually beneath me like this. So if I continue to press up, um, this would be the easiest way to do this. Um, there. That would be the easiest. So if I, if, I, if I continue to press up, I'm actually entering the room like this. Um, and let me make a... No, I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna, I want to keep this room relatively open. Um, another thing that you can do, if I hit escape, let's say I want to move this whole thing down. If I hit escape, I can actually hold shift and click and drag, and I can copy this and paste it. So if I control C, that went away, that means I copied it, and I'm going to paste it here, control V. Um, and that pasted everything that I had copied right there. And so that's another thing that I hadn't showed you yet. And now I want to appear at 812 instead. So I want to appear at 812 instead. That's going to have me appearing right there. Okay, so let's test this out. I did notice something. I, I was playing around with the bug monster in between video takes, and I, for, I must have forgot to set his animation because I noticed he stopped walking. So let me, yeah, I have him advancing instead. I forgot. I was supposed to have him on repeat. So I noticed that um, he was getting to this, and then he was going to here, 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 and it would have eventually. He actually, no, I'm sorry. He was going to here, and he was getting stuck right here and just staying there. So now I have him repeating this action again. And so now he, uh, I'll keep animating. There we go. That's better. So now let's see. 
let's see if I can get past these guys, and now I can go into the dungeon. Oh, you know what? I must have looked. I, I'm appearing right on the tile. So, um, let's see. 813, 812. Let me make him appear at 811 again. Um, it might be because he's two tiles tall, so he's actually appearing a little bit lower than this uh, because of uh, his, his bounding box. So this should be the last third time's a charm here. He's going to appear a little bit above that entrance. Ah! Okay. There we go. And I can go back in, and then I come out. There we go. So that's a nice way that I can enter a dungeon, you know? Um, pretty simple. And I can mess with that a little bit to make it so I don't appear so far away. I could graphically make this all a door, things like that. There's a lot of things I can do. What's happening is I'm appearing, like, right about there because of my bounding box. And you can see I'm still touching this tile, technically. Watch. I'll, I'll try and do it. See, I'm still, like, one pixel is touching that tile right there. So uh, a lot of different ways I can fix that. But I just wanted to show you real quick before we made a boss, uh, a new tile type, a warp tile type, uh, and how that can work. Right now, just use the overworld screen, but you can warp to any screen that using that method, and that's how you can tell it where you want it to appear. And now we'll go ahead and we'll put the boss in here. In fact, I'm going to real quick make this, this screen as well. Um, this will be our, our goal. This is what we're trying to get. So tile set two... And I want to use my dungeon palettes. And I want to kind of have an idea about what our goal is going to be, too. So I could get really crazy and add all kinds of stair graphics and temple graphics and stuff like that. We're, we're just not, we're not that deep into this for the beta. Um, so I'm going to put something right here that's going to be our goal. That's going to be our one of our last steps. For right now, I'm going to stop this video, and then we're going to build a kind of a cool little boss monster to fill this room.